Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So, Meghan and Harry have been snubbed yet again and they have been branded relevant by a major American social media personality, Perez Hilton. So I found this article by The Express, which is a UK publication, and it is titled Meghan and Harry Snubbed Americans Have No Fascination with Real Couple After Pandemic. This is not the first article of its kind throughout the whole pandemic. And since Meghan and Harry actually left the shores of the UK, a lot of people have expressed the way in which they feel as though Meghan and Harry will struggle in the United States of America because there's so much going on. There's so many big personalities and real celebrities out there that the competition is fierce. And because Harry's not really famous for anything else other than being a member of the royal family and the grandson to the queen and obviously the son of the late Princess Diana and the current future king, Prince Charles. He doesn't really have much strings to his bow. And then we have Meghan, who was in an extremely small, non-global, regional series, Suits. So a lot of people have conveyed that they think that Meghan and Harry will struggle. They will not flourish off of British shores. And we see that they are struggling out there in the United States of America because they're constantly looking at Britain, they're constantly criticising Britain, talking about Britain and maintaining that real connection to the UK, which I don't understand because A, they said they wanted a private life, B, they said they was not interested in the United Kingdom because we are bigoted and racist and all the rest of it and we was really cool to make C, etc, etc. And they didn't want anything to do with us. They did not want to serve the country in any way. They did not want to be senior members of the royal family. And the list goes on. Yet they are constantly looking back at what we're doing. And now they are slamming us for inherent institutional racism. Which, yep, yeah, it's a real thing over here in the UK. But it's also structurally racist in many other European countries as well. So I don't understand their sole fixation on what's going on in the UK and the flaws within the British structure when they left. So I'm going to get into this article anyway, because that's what we're here for. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have suffered the harsh consequence of the coronavirus pandemic of becoming increasingly less popular in the United States, a commentator has claimed. Speaking to ITV Good Morning Britain, celebrity expert Perez Hilton claimed Americans are no longer fascinated with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry since the pandemic has been has been crippling America and the rest of the world. The royal couple moved to LA, California at the beginning of the year after announcing they would no longer serve as working members of the royal family. But Mr. Hilton said they now garner very little interest in American people, something which could cost them their celebrity status and future endeavours, which is true. If the Americans are no longer interested in them, and I know quite a few Americans do watch my channel, thank you very much. If you guys lose interest in them and you are not fascinated with them and you are not curious about what they're doing or their son or their contrived, and that's my personal opinion of Meghan and Harry's actions, their contrived charitable work, how are they going to make money out of speeches? How are they going to make money out of their charitable endeavors? They're not going to be able to last that long. They are literally going to have a very limited time to make enough money to live off of. And we know that Meghan and Harry are going to need a lifetime of security. But if no one is buying, if no one's really interested, who's going to be paying them in five years time? So he carried on to say, I think the pandemic has been awful for so many people, but also for their celebrity. Personally, I am much less invested in Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and all that drama right now than I was in January when their departure made worldwide news. 
Of course, we still care about them. She's American, they're living in Santa Barbara, but in America, at least there isn't the fascination that existed with the two of them just eight, nine months ago. So what he's basically saying is, as they have distanced themselves from the very thing that made them who they are today and made them relevant, especially Megan. I mean, Megan really wasn't on the map at all. She she didn't really have much clout before she got with Harry. I didn't know who she was. I'm sure you, you guys didn't know who she was. None of us knew anything about her, her works, her charitable endeavors. She wasn't on the map, was she? She wasn't known for anything. She wasn't global. As soon as she was seen walking around with Harry, suddenly she became a figure in the media. She became a global, world-recognised face. She didn't have that. When they had that connection to the royal firm, as I said, they were hot. People were interested. People were like, well, who's this biracial lady who's joined the firm? What is she like as a person? And then we heard all of these negative stories about her family and the way she treated her family and the drama with her dad and then her disabled sister and her brother begging the real firm not to allow her in because she would destroy and you know it's come to pass she has divided the firm she has destroyed the firm somewhat and we are where we are right now they just don't Megan and Harry just don't have that prestige anymore they don't have that real seal of approval anymore and that's going to affect them in a major way financially people just will not be that interested so the article carries on here the royal couple have also recently received the unflattering title of least eco-friendly royals following a recent study Meghan and Harry have had the highest environmental impact among the 10 senior royals analysed by a study commissioned by Save on Energy. The company comparing gas and electricity supplies in the UK conducted an analysis on the royals' travel footprint, support to environmental charities, attendance to engagements focused on the environment, social media posts on the issue, use of electric cars and sustainability of their wardrobes. After coming up with a scoring system which combines these behaviours, Save on Energy crowned Prince Charles the most eco-friendly member of the royal family. This system has given three points to every royal attending an engagement focused on environment and has taken away three points for every tonne of CO2 created. All the other aspects taken into consideration were awarded a single point each. Authors of this study considered the behaviours of senior royals between March 2019 and March 2020 and referenced to the Royal Travel Report to determine the carbon footprint of each member of the family. While Prince Charles racked up 156 points, Meghan and Harry both obtained only 9 points each. The Prince of Wales was followed by Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, who gathered 84 points. Prince Philip came in third with 44 points, followed by Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, with 29 points, and the Queen with 23 points. The bottom half of this chart sees Prince William with 15, followed by Prince Edward, and then Princess Anne with 10. So you can see that Meghan and Harry really are not people of their word. They said they care about the environment, but they've spent so much time flying around on private planes and racking up CO2 emissions that they've actually won the title of the least eco-friendly royals. So it it says here the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been criticised by royal watchers and commentators over the 2019 summer for going on holiday to Spain and France using private jets. But these trips have not been counted in the study as it only took into account journeys included in the royal travel report. So they actually get done them a favour by not adding up all of their non-eco-friendly travel. Now we know that in America they've been rolling around in gas guzzling Cadillacs to get to their business meetings and events which the Megsy and the Harry were pictured getting out of and getting in too. So everything for them seems to be falling apart 
as Perez Hilton said, and he really is Hollywood gossiping royalty. He's like a gossip columnist slash blogger, YouTuber, commentator. I think he started on YouTube and he has his own blog that he runs. He would know what is hot and what is not. And Meghan and Harry are, it's official guys, no longer hot in the United States of America. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Tell me what you think. You'll leave your thoughts below. There's so much going on with this couple. I cannot even keep up myself. All right, bye guys.